Improv Theater plays at the Hideout Coffee House in downtown Austin every weekend. The tickets sell out every single show. Why is this form of entertainment so desirable? Improv has no age boundaries and helps people get past their normal inhibitions. Monique DeVal works with a local improv troupe called Girls, 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 and she discusses how an actor will never tire of improv. I've been doing improv off and on since high school, so that for me is 11 years. Um, right now, I'm solely with Girls, 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 but we're an all-female musical improv troupe. An associate instructor of improv classes in the College of Fine Arts, Sarah Renner, talks about how they structure the class on improv theater. Just teach what improv is, what are the rules of improv, how do you do it, and then also to look at applications of improv, how it fits into business, how it fits into writing, how it fits into community activism. The class teaches the rules of improv as well as how to apply it to everyday activities. A theater studies student at the University of Texas at Austin, Eric Vera, says that improv theater taught him how to be creative. We'd be doing a play like, say, The Wizard of Oz, and they'd stick a shovel into the play, and we'd have to do the, we'd have to put it in our show. It didn't necessarily have to be a shovel throughout the show, it could be like a microphone. This form of entertainment helps not only the audience have fun on the weekend, but also the actors learn more about themselves. Monique DeFau says that improv has taught her a lot. It, it's really helped me feel more comfortable just kind of being in the moment and, you know, communicating with people. I don't have stage fright at all. I'm very comfortable as a public speaker because of it. And it's also really helped with, like, writing and creativity. Eric Vera talks about how improv has helped him outside of acting as well. With conversations, it's great because I can, like, just stem off something else. It's, um, I mean, it helps out a lot. I'm just, like, very random. I mean, random is the perfect word for improv. But outsiders aren't the only people attending improv on the weekends. Actual improv actors go to other shows to learn from other performers. Monique talks about her average weekend activities. I would say pretty much every weekend I'm either performing or watching an improv performance. Overall, improv theater entertains multiple people. Everyone comes out of the theater not only laughing a lot, but also learning something about themselves. For Dispatch 40, I'm Blair Schiff.